What's up guys and welcome back to a very special video here on Full Drop TV. Man, it has been so long since I uploaded a video. I honestly thought I was going to get to that one year mark and still nothing was going to be uploaded. Um, but of course, as you saw on the title of this video, we're going to do an SB review as always. I love reviewing SBs with all the quality. This one is very, very special as it is a Nike SB friends and family pair, the Para Dunks. I want to give a big shout out, of course, to the homie Logan from DSM Drops. Um, he's been hooking it up sometimes with reviews and, um, you know, we've been friends for a long time. And when he got this pair, I was like, yo, I have to do a review on them and, um, course bring it to you guys as well i did want to do a video also talk a little bit of why i've been gone um the things that have been happening and finally being able to do what i love uh full time of course going to iowa city to visit the best sneaker store in my opinion in iowa um, which is vice iowa city and then at the end it kind of goes full story with everything that's going on right now uh, of course picking up my grail um sb one of them i should say uh top three i want to say for sure sb grill of all time and uh yeah let's go ahead and get into it i'm gonna do a what's on feet for every video and show you guys what's on my feet so today i have the nike sb first avenue dunks um this shoe is honestly really amazing i know i say that with every shoe that i review on here but i really love the quality and you know the backstory behind this shoe you do see it is an all black shoe with those purple laces on top i truly like um you know adds an extra flair this pair did come with black laces and white laces um for a while i was thinking of switching them just to the white laces um kind of to add an extra touch but i really do like them with the purple even though i don't wear as much purple but you don't have to match your shoes all the time if you just really like them just wear them with whatever really um i, I say that now while i'm trying to match a shirt with it but yeah man i really like these shoes and when I first got this shoe, I didn't know, but I could kind of tell that there was some leather that could be kind of removed, kind of like the coloring, the black. And um, I saw a picture of someone actually removing the black color and it revealing the purple. I don't really like the purple as much. Um, I think the purple laces are fine enough. Uh, but now, yeah. of course, I did want to uh, go ahead and get into the Nike SB Power Friends and Family review. That tricolor box right here. Absolutely love this box. It's always um, with Nike's era, whether that's the gold box, the silver box. Um, you can kind of tell what era it's from with the box alone. And I truly love that Nike's always doing that. This is a size 11 and a half. I wanted to give a huge, huge shout out again to my friend Logan for letting me borrow this pair for this review. Shout out to him. Go ahead and follow him on Instagram. It's at DSM Drops. I'll link all that below. Thank you so much for letting me, uh, you know, do a review on this pair. It's a very expensive pair and, you know, I always take care of them. So let's start off with, um, let's start off with the right pair right here. Boom. Nike SB Friends and Family. This shoe was absolutely beautiful. The materials are A1. Um, I've never really did a review on any SB Friends and Families or any Friends and Family pairs in general. And um, I'm super glad that I'm able to see these in person. Of course, give you that um, review for you guys. So let's start off with the bottoms. It's the same bottoms as the GR release. Uh, I say GR just because it's, you know, general release to the public. These, of course, are friends and family, so they were not released to the public. There you go, that gum bottom. I, as you guys know, love gum bottoms. Um, and I think someone commented that, too, that made it into a meme um, with a gum bottoms uh, joke. Now getting on to the swoosh right here. You do have the same color swoosh, which is going to be in black right there. Camera picking that up really good as well. And then you do have this color panel, um, kind of like this pastel blue. Um, and I, when I first saw videos of these, they didn't look super buttery. I could tell that it was some type of suede, but in person that suede is just absolutely buttery right there. When you move your hand around it, it's just honestly really, really buttery. So that wraps all the way around right there. As you can see that. Getting on to kind of like the middle of the shoe, you do have this white plush leather. It's really good leather. Um, I thought it was going to be kind of poopy again with the photos that I've saw of these of a couple SB pages post. But you do see that super buttery leather 
Um, it's pretty good. You know, I thought it was going to be super crappy, but it's actually really good. Getting on to now here around the lace area, you do have this again, really buttery red. Um, it's like suede nubuck. I don't really know how to how to say it because it kind of feels like a little bit of both, but it's super buttery right there. Of course, I can't miss the back where it says Nike right here stitched in. It kind of looks like the GR release, um, the general release that came out, but you do have that right there. Now getting on to the toe box area. Again, that white leather, super plush. I really enjoy it. Right there. And then you do have a hint right here, which are we gonna get into this part. Uh, I probably like this hint a little bit more. I wish that the general release had that on there, but if you see on the toe box, again, those pastel colors, nothing too bright and out of the you know ordinary, but does say par right there of course speaking in some b-roll for you guys a pair which this honestly is probably my favorite side of it there you have it boom now i really enjoy the colors on this pair i kind of wish that they were the same but uh, i can appreciate that they did something different of course same thing with these gum bottoms on there Slo i love that um, let's get to the back right here it says para same as the general release and this pink just pops a lot um, and that's what i really like about this pair again that buttery suede is absolutely immaculate right there kind of reminds me like bubble gum and i really like that so wraps all around the shoe there's that side view right there black swoosh going all over the shoe and you do have kind of this like khaki red almost um on the toe box i was about to forget too um you do have that orange right there where the laces are at so if you see that right there you also have the same hint as the gr and as the other pair nike sb right there on the tongue um, these are really amazing of course be getting some b-roll for you guys on these so let's go ahead and uh, get some b-roll <music> So I hope you guys like that review on the Nike SB friends and family para. Of course, like I said, I have to give a big shout out to my friend Logan from at DSM Drops again for allowing me to do a review on this pair. Um, and I, again, I'm going to say it's going to come full circle at the end of this video and you're going to see why. Um, so now let's go ahead and get into the part where I show you Vice Iowa City. Hands down the best store in my opinion here in Iowa by far. Um, I didn't you know, get too much videos of us talking there. Uh, it's kind of more like B-roll footage, but let me go ahead and show you guys that now. So as you saw there, um, at the end too, they brought out some really cool uh, Air Jordan 1s. I want to say 85. I might be wrong though. Don't quote me on that. Um, but it's really cool to see those shoes. Again, I did do a review with them on a sample pair that was made for Michael Jordan a while ago. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go ahead and check that out. Um, but now going full circle as to why I've been, I keep saying that during the video, right? You guys are like, what, what is this man talking about? He's always repeating himself. I know. The reason why this whole 
video was done and went full circle was the pair that I just made a review on, which was Logan's pair at the time, um, was bought from my friend Pedro. I've been wanting this shoe for a long time. And um, I almost said it on here. I almost slipped up. I have to cut that out. But uh, yeah, like it's been full circle. I was 30 minutes late. Originally, this was like four or five years ago. There's a store called Illustra Round. And they had this shoe there for $350, right? $350, really good condition, no flaws at all. And they had it there. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go pick it up. I got there. I spoke to Alan, who was the owner of the store, uh, with Justin as well. And they're like, hey, you know what? That shoe just sold 30 minutes ago. And I was like, what? Like, I just couldn't believe it. And at the time, I didn't know who bought it until years later. I met my friend Pedro, who became a really good friend of mine. And um, he was the one that bought it. So for all these years, I've been trying to figure out who bought it, found out. And um, I told him, I was like, you know what? Let me get them. I'll buy them. He's like, no, I'm not going to sell them. Even though they don't fit him, he was like, you know what? It's just a shoe that I like to have in my collection. So now, fast forward, you know, became really good friends. I've been keep on nagging uh, to get the shoe. And I'm like, hey, they don't fit you again, blah, 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 right? So then I went to Vice to get some pairs off and we were talking back and forth. He really wanted the Nike SB friends and family. And he was like, you know what, if you buy the shoe, then I'll be able to, you know, add that cash towards the friends and family pair instead of just paying out of all my pocket. So I'm just like, you know what, I'll think about it. He was like, you know what, let's go out to eat lunch. Um, we went to Marquis Pizzeria and, you know, let's go ahead and, and just talk about it. I did it. pick up two pairs from him. And I'm not the type of person that likes to hide how much I got stuff for, mainly because I'm not going to resell these pairs. These pairs, I plan on keeping up my collection forever. Um, and, you know, some people say that here and there. But, yeah, you know, the reason why I always like to have those grails in my collection because I'm actually going to wear them. The pair that I actually took to Vice was the Nike SB Grateful Deads, um, the green pair. And although that was a shoe that was... A, like a holy grail for some people and it was for me at, at a certain time i wore that shoe i ended st on dent stocked it for my 21st birthday but that was it i never wore that pair again and uh, i was just super bummed because i was like you know what it's one of those shoes that i love but i'm never gonna wear it. i want someone else to wear be able to wear it more appreciate it more not that i didn't appreciate it but just appreciate it more. and i did end up getting both of these pairs as a package for six hundred dollars and i know some people on youtube videos are like oh i'm not gonna show you guys how much i got these for or share that information i truly don't care these shoes are in my collection to stay i really like them both and i don't plan on getting rid of them anytime soon so without further ado i know you know i've been talking about this been rambling on for a little bit um but let's go ahead and get into what i got as finally now in my collection let's go ahead and see that now marie jordan one these are really cool. Uh, I know Pedro took his pair to Vice and he ended up selling it over there. And that's why he told me, hey, you know what? I know you've been looking for this pair for a little bit and um, it's a baby shoe. I know you collect them, so why not? I'll be, of course, be getting some B-roll for you guys of this shoe, but I really like it. Um, Quality's on point. I like that they did not cheap out. With most baby shoes, they do cheap out as far as not adding the same material. Sometimes the flaps on the Jordan 1 right here um, will not be, you know, flappy. They'll just be intact and kind of just like one mold after another after another. So I'm glad they didn't cheap out. I really like this shoe. Um, I kind of want a pair in my size. I think they're going for like 415, which is not too bad. I know one day I'll be able to you know, purchase them once I find them in my size. I haven't seen anyone yet with my size here locally. I hate waiting uh, when it comes to shipping with any type of stuff. So that's why I didn't go ahead and scoop those up online. Inside, you do have that very nice, like, velt material. Um, again, I really like that Jordan Brand did not cheap out on the baby pair. This pair is really nice. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of reviews on these already online, but the baby pair does not disappoint. It's the same quality as the adult pair. So there you see Nike SB gold box size 10, my personal size. Um, again, the box too is in really, really good condition. Boom. There you have it, the Nike SB MF Doom. So you do have that ostrich skin right there. Of course, we getting some B-roll for you guys as always. All around the toe box. You still see that buttery uh, suede nubuck right here. Um, it's still very, very buttery. Most pairs now, they're really beat, um, and it's almost like leather. Uh, you do have that doom right there stitched in. All right, and then you do also have these red laces, which absolutely popped. 
I really like that um, these came with the red laces. You do see that anglet right there. Of course, on the top of the tongue, you do have the logo right there. Infamous, known for that, as always. Bottoms, as you see, they're still not too bad. They're still icy. You can see his face. Pairs right nowadays, you can't even see that. Most pairs are super yellow, um, but this pair is not too bad at all. We do, of course, have that material on the back, which is, again, that suede. It's super buttery still, which is crazy to see um, right there. Most pairs, like I said, are super beat, and I did talk to this. I did talk to Javi about this pair on the podcast, and he was telling me that he trashed his pair, which is, you know, that's how it was back then. That's what he did. Do see the other pair right there. Again, still icy, not bad condition at all whatsoever. Again, the same quality, um, everything all around, the buttery suede, the ostrich skin. I can't wait to wear these. Um, they're just honestly really, really nice, and it's a great pickup for me. I did always want this pair. So, of course, as always on SBs, I love the attention to detail. Um, I've done so many reviews on SBs, and the quality never seems to change. It seems to get better and better and better, um, and these shoes, again, not a miss they didn't miss at all with the details on this shoe again i'm gonna get some bureau for you guys So finally, yes, I did get the Nike SB MF Doom in my collection, as well as the AJ1 Amon Marie for the Mini Me. Um, and I did want to say, of course, guys, I couldn't like you know sit down and do videos as much as I wanted to back then. But now I truly, truly do have the time to do it. Happen for a reason. You're gonna have ups and downs as always, no matter what. Even if you don't know at the time why things are happening. I always tell myself things happen for a reason. Later on, you may find out what those reasons were. But they're eternal. And, you know, we kind of spoke about stuff. His clothing brand has been blowing up. And we always spoke about, you know, me going full time. And that's what I've been doing. So that's what I do now full time. Um, but I did want to give you guys a quick sneak peek of what's been going on. Doing everything now from the last spot. This is what people don't see is freezing outside, man. It's, you can see kind of, well, you can't really see it up in the camera, but. It's freezing, there's snowflakes everywhere. Uh, we're trying to move everything now. Oh, this is a lot of manpower that we got three cars moving this, so let's go ahead and get this up now. Well, at the, the UPS by my house, USPS, I dropped off like five shirts. And I thought, I got not five shirts, I got like 30 packages in total. And we thought, in my opinion, I thought that was a lot. I remember like flexing it and I was posting it. And now like, it feels like daily we get out like these amount of orders, it's like daily. All right, finally got all of them unloaded. Um, I still got some more to take to USPS, um, but these will start going out now. content out for you guys not anything with crazy edits as much as other youtubers do who um, you know do this full time as for a living that's what they do they have to do that i feel like i don't have to it's more about storytelling um i'm just a regular person that loves doing videos loves doing shoe reviews and likes shoes in general and i've always loved shoes growing up all my life and finally being able to do this full time as well as working with my brother eternal is a blessing um, so i just wanted to say no matter what's going on in your life, whether you're up, whether you're down, don't ever forget that everything happens for a reason. Keep your head up, guys. As always, thank you. I hope you love this video. 
Hope you loved all this storytelling, even though I, I'm going to have to cut some of this stuff out because um, I just felt like I kept on rambling on. But let me know what you guys think on this video in the comments below. And as always, please like this video if you liked it. If you got something from it, um, leave a like and subscribe, of course, if you're not already subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.